We're just breaking it for the viewer this morning. That early morning uh, today, the Enforcement Directorate team, as you can see, is at Sanjay Singh's residence. They are inside. We do not have more clarity on this. And we'll try and get our reporter on the ground uh, who's there, Ashutosh Mishra, in just a short while to understand what's been happening. No statement yet yet from Sanjay Singh or group. As uh, Munish continues to be with us, I want to now bring in Ashutosh. Ashutosh, over to you. Uh, what do you see? What do you know about uh, the rate or the search that's currently on? I'm told that there's simply a questioning that's happening inside uh, Sanjay Singh's residence. Any word yet from him or the party? Well, absolutely not. Absolutely not. When and, and that's a standard protocol when such kind of raids are something uh, carried out by so, agencies or the policing forces. So clearly, you seize out all your phones and electronic devices. So right behind me in the North Avenue is where the Sanjay Singh's residence. And around seven o'clock, in fact, uh, his father is uh, right here outside, and he is only just informed that around six to seven officials, including uh, the women uh, ED officials, uh, so they just uh, came in along with the C uh, CRP, uh, mm -hmm. the Central Reserve forces and that's your uh, Sanjay Singh's father. He was just walking around and informed that around 7 o'clock a few officials from the enforcement uh, uh, directorate knocked the door and uh, this is now on the uh, excise policy investigation as it continues as the officials say uh, that the charge sheet has also name of Sanjay Singh and we have already seen the confrontation between ED and Sanjay Singh in the court when his name was uh, mistakenly uh, added. Uh, Ashutosh, stay on, stay on and I'll come to you for the latest on this. As Ashutosh is reporting, we have some more information coming in. Sanjay Singh was supposed to be flying out to Taiwan. There was an event that he was to participate. According to our information, it was uh, some event on women empowerment. And he was to fly out to Taiwan last night. Uh, there was no issue. Uh, there was a the political clearance hadn't been granted to Sanjay Singh. He could not fly. And this morning, uh, there is an ED team at his residence. Ashutosh, over to you. So he had some plans to, to be able to fly out. He wasn't able to. Uh, yes, go ahead. You were telling us that he's currently grounded. He's there at the, at the residence. And the questioning is on. Well, that's a very interesting development. In fact, just I'm told from the sources close to Sanjay Singh that he had applied for political clearance to fly to Taiwan. And in fact, last mm -hmm. night he had a flight uh, from Delhi to Taiwan where he had to address uh, some conference on women empowerment. And because uh, any representative, elected representative or the uh, people's representative, when you have to travel a foreign, you require political clearance from the Ministry of External Affairs. And of course, that's another issue that there have been loggerhead between the AAP and the uh, center as far as political clearance to several representatives are concerned. So he could not fly and uh, all the uh, tickets and all preparations were done and in absence of political crisis you could not fly and this morning in fact yesterday only Pooja he uh, you know issued the statement in solidarity with the journalists who were raided and of course uh, two also arrested but here this morning at around seven o'clock the officials from the enforcement uh, director had entered and we know since the investigation is uh, on the Delhi's excise policy which uh, has and uh, very interestingly the key accused uh, in the uh, excised camp had now turned and approved. All I see some movements happening here, the CRP officials uh, which were in protection for the enforcement directorate officials. Of course, that's a, we have seen standard uh, protocol that as and when Correct. these raids are carried out, they always carry some uh, central forces. Uh, uh, so here I see some movements happening. They are uh, guarding the outer, uh, this periphery of his house. Uh, uh, we don't know yet whether the raid is over or the questioning is over or they are taking uh, Sanjay Singh along. So of course, uh, the picture will be clear uh, in a while. In, uh, but for now, as we know, it's... Uh, uh, Ashutosh, uh, it's how do we look at it? Really, uh, the one minister associated with the Delhi liquor excise policy controversy was Manish Sisodia. He's already behind bars. Health Minister Satendra Jain is behind bars. Is the news tightening against Sanjay Singh also or is that too early to say? It's just a, a round of questioning right now by the Enforcement Directorate. Well, as the charge sheets say and also the accused who has turned approver also says that Sanjay Singh was present in one of the meetings uh, where he also received a donation for the political parties from certain restaurant owners and he was also one of the key factor in meeting and uh, not exactly in the decision making but at least in carrying out certain meeting. So on that point, whether to see whether the ED requires Sanjay Singh custody. As far as this political, you know, the battle is concerned between the BJP and the AAP, remember, AAP remains the arch rival of the BJP. Sanjay Singh, if you see, 
constantly taking on the center government. Remember, all the other political rivals have been restored as far as their suspension for parliament concerned, but it is not the Sanjay Singh. Sanjay Singh continue to be uh, suspended from Rajya Sabha. So this shows the beginning and the, you know, the rivalry between the BJP. And so that's another political factor. And also, if you see Sanjay Singh, constantly taking on the BJP, particularly over the Adani issue. Even yesterday, in solidarity, speaking with the journalists who were raided by Delhi Police, Sanjay Singh, even at extent say that how the Adani group also receiving funding from the terror groups. So clearly, all the if you see this uh, uh, political fight between the BJP and centre, this is one aspect, of course. Soon you'll see all the India bloc leaders coming out in solidarity of Sanjay Singh supporting him. And of course, they'll be condemning the ED raids. But as far as this case excise is concerned, Sanjay Singh name in the charge sheet. He has already been uh, really a very, uh, uh, you know, picking uh, battle with the enforcement directed when his name was uh, taken mm. in the paper. Of course, that was removed out later. Clarification was issued by the ED. And as far as the excise is concerned, of course, it is also tightening nose of the entire yes. Ahmadmi Party Ashutosh, leadership. Stay on, stay on with me. While the Ahmadmi Party doesn't have much to say right now, they are being cautious in their reactions. I'm joined on the phone line by Bharatiya Janata Party's RP Singh, and I want to go across to him. RP Singh, now the Ahmadmi Party, beyond the investigation that's on by ED, has been claiming in the past few months that is this political vendetta because they are uh, against Modi government, they are in the India bloc. That is why these raids are uh, happening. What what would you say to that? And I'm quoting just what Ahmadmi Party leaders have been saying earlier. Well, if I have to answer by their logic, then if they are uh, raiding the Congress MLAs and uh, mm. Congress ministers and putting the Congress MLAs and the ministers behind bars, then is it the vendetta? No, it's the part of a legal recourse which they've taken because of certain evidence. In this case also, the man who's turned to uh, Mr. Dinesh Uroda has mentioned uh, in his uh, report that he, Sanjay Singh was there uh, in, uh, wherever the meeting happened and Sanjay Singh was physically present in those meetings. So obviously ED has to pick up all those people who were involved in this racket. And already in many Sosodia's case they moved the court and court has uh, not given any bail to Mr. Sosodia. And the court has rather uh, given a comment saying that Sosodia is the architect of the uh, complete Dicker scam. Hmm. So now, who all are involved, who are the other pillars of the scam, we need to be investigated and we are hopeful that Mr. Sanjay Singh will cooperate with the investigation, investigating agency as he is a member of parliament also and uh, he is a member of the Ahmadi party also and hmm. he was available, uh, he was part of that, those meetings also which happened hmm. during the Kurs scam. You, you've been a senior leader with regard to BJP's uh, Delhi politics as well. Ahmadmi Party's involvement with regard to the Delhi excise policy has been a huge political showdown. How do you think this reflects now? What do you think will happen? Because Manish Sisodia is already under arrest. arrest. He, is the, he was the concerned minister. Why is the news then against Ahmadmi Party's Rajya Sabha member of parliament, uh, uh, Sanjay Singh, over the excise policy? The, what, what do you think is going to happen here on? Well, it will depend on uh, the search which is going on and what all details do uh, ED get from his uh, laptop or whatever uh, other electrical equipment, uh, electronic equipment uh, he has. So it will depend on that. Uh, and then also uh, ED would have certain questions to ask to Mr. Sanjay Singh. And what, uh, how Arpi, Singh, he... Arpi Singh, do you think that this liquor excise policy has been one of the biggest embarrassments that has hit the national capital and its politics, the manner in which it was announced with much fanfare? Within a year, it was pulled back because there were, of course, controversies that started to emerge in it. Well, uh, I remember when this complete policy uh, came into uh, in public domain, uh, the then, uh, the, even now, the chief secretary raised a red flag saying that they wanted uh, the backdate approval uh, in, in, uh, mm. for the same policy to be done in the cabinet meeting, which is not as per the rule. And also, that cabinet meeting was called into very uh, great hush-up. So uh, that led to uh, questions being raised, and then there was uh, one of the excise uh, yes. directors who raised a red flag uh, on the policy when the policy was being implemented, and those papers were not made public at that time. So all this led to further investigation and inquiry, and which led to raids and um, money leads and money trails, and, and also to uh, people being arrested.
So and then then uh, the uh, our our party withdrew the policy, saying that we are withdrawing the policy now. Yes, we are going back to the old policy. So. Uh, so it remains to be seen. Remains to be seen what will happen here. On BJP says this is not political vendetta. This is about investigation agencies.